I'm thrilled to welcome you to this SAG Q&A with one of my favorite movies of the year, Mina Di. Uh, this beautiful portrait of a family in America comes to us from filmmaker Lee Isaac Chung. And I am so pleased to welcome some of the cast members who make up this family. Please join me in welcoming actors Stephen Yun, Yeti Han, and Ya Jung Yoon. <laughs> Thank yeah. you for being here. Made it. Second time charm. This is an audience of actors joining us, so I always like to start by asking, what was your first job as an actor? The first time you got paid for it, felt you were professional, or realized this was something you wanted to do? And we can start with Steven. Oh, man. Um, the first paid acting job that I got was to be, uh, oh my goodness. It was to be, I think it was, to do a industrial <clears throat> where I had to memorize eight pages of, of, of tech jargon at a conference selling a uh, microchip that I had no idea what it was, playing a caricature of hero from heroes. You're kidding. Um, That's amazing. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was sobering. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Jung, what about for you? Uh, I started as a part-time job, part-time work. Uh, they say that they paid good while I was in college, freshman year. Uh, there's some television station. Um, they say it's paying me good. So I didn't have any acting skill or I didn't go to film school, nothing. I, my major was actually Korean literature. So <laughs> I went there. Well, they paid good at the time. So I started as a, like a um, part-time job. It's like extra, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you ever take formal acting lessons of any kind? Because you, I know you've made over 80 movies. I didn't have any ac acting class. That's my complex, actually, still. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whatever you're doing is, is working, so keep doing it. <laughs> <웃음> 예, what about for you? 음, 저는 학교, 대학교 다닐 때 이제 학생 영화를 친구들이랑 같이 만들었을 때 그때 처음으로 어, 연기를 하고 돈을 받아봤어요. 한 1, 7회차 정도 됐었는데 한 50만 원 정도를 받았었던 것 같은데 그때는 그냥 어, 뭔가 연기를 하고 받은 첫 돈이어서 너무 놀라웠고 신기했고 무용할 때보다 더 수익이 좋았던 것 같아요. So when I was in college, I worked on a bunch of short film, student films, and that was when I first started acting and got paid. I remember the first project was like a seven day shoot and I got paid around $500 in total. But at the time, I was just surprised that I could get paid um, by acting uh, because I'm a dancer. I was a dancer and acting was actually more profitable than dancing. <laughs> wow, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, as I said before, this is such a special and beautiful film. I know it's the fourth film from Lee Isaac Chung. I, I've been told he prefers to go by Isaac. Um, how did the story find its way to you and, and what interested you in your roles? And Stephen, I, I actually just learned you're related to Isaac. Yeah, uh, th through marriage. Um, <laughs> yeah, we, uh, Isaac and I had not really met before. We met maybe like once or twice at family weddings. Um, but my wife and I have been married now, or it's been together now for about 10 years. And, um, you know, the first film that I saw with her was actually Isaac's first film, Win Young Rangabo, um, at Piper's Alley in Chicago. And then we, and then didn't really talk to him until, you know, my agent, Christina Chow was like, hey, we represent your cousin. And I was like, what are you talking about? And um, she was like, Isaac. And it was so, so strange. And then she handed me his script and um, it was one of the most honest scripts I've ever read. And it was just so, so, so true to that experience. So yeah, it was, it was beautiful. I mean, I feel like it would have been a little awkward at family reunions if you had said no. Yes, absolutely. No, uh, <laughs> we, we actually never really, we never really talked about it ever. Um, I knew, I, I, even, even when I met him after I had seen his first movie, 
I didn't put it really together that he was the cousin because we just never, we never talked about it um, until the script showed up. So it was magical. That's amazing. And Yeti, uh, this is your American film debut. How did you come to be part of the project? And did you ever imagine doing a film in America? Oh, 감독님이 영화를 만든다고 생각을 했지 이게 미국 영화라는 생각을 하면서 촬영을 하지 아, 생각을 하진 않았어요 처음에는 근데 현장에 갔을 때 어, 드디어 뭔가 내가 알지 못하는 좀 낯선 곳에서 낯선 사람들과 작업을 하는구나 라는 생각이 들었는데 음, 생각보다 영화 현장이 굉장히 비슷하게 어, 만들어진다는 거를 알고 있었고 그래서 조금 더 긴장을 덜할수 있었고 어 글쎄요 저한테는 평생 오래 가는 아름다운 추억이 될것 같아요 그리고 지금 이렇게 제가 너무 좋아하는 선생님 스티븐 아이작과 뭔가를 진짜 음 오래 남을 뭔가를 만들었는데 <웃음> <웃음> 아 맞다 yeah. <laughs> um, so when I first met Isaac and um, talked to him about this project, um, I thought that, you know, I was just doing a film with this artist. I didn't really consider it as this American project. Um, but when I arrived on set, it really hit me that I was actually, you know, in a foreign country working with people that I've never, you know, really worked with before. Um, but I knew that the set would be run pretty similarly. Um, um, so I was less nervous about the whole process. And honestly, I'm just grateful um, to have these memories that I will carry with me for a very long time. These memories that I can share um, with Yeo Jung, Steven, and Isaac, people who I admire so much. So, um, so, um, so, um, so, so regardless of, you know, uh, what happens with Minari and the whole um, outcome of the film, um, for me, it's just memories that I will cherish. Um, so I'm very grateful. And Yejung, for those of us who don't know your work, well, we've probably seen you, but you're a veteran of over 80 movies. And Isaac used to show your films to his film history students. Um, so I understand he's been familiar with you for a while. Did you know his work at all? No, I didn't until I met him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, I met him through my dear friend, Ina, and the, she asked me the favor for him. At the time, I didn't know who that is. And we have a film festival in Busan. It's a Busan festival. He, she asked me just to do the, some kind of class with him. She, he was teaching at the University of Utah Film School in Korea. So I met him and during the conversation, like a QA, and a and then students supposed to ask about me and things like that. And then she, he was mentioning about my first movie. So I was really shocked. Um, Isaac is much younger than my son, so <laughs> so how did you <laughs> saw me on the movie? And then the director is very famous, legendary director in Korea. So I was really shocked. I was very impressed. So we were going to talk about film, but all the students didn't interest in that movie at all because they never seen anything like that. So they were talking about my variety show, the, the reality show. You, we call Yoon's Kitchen. They were all <laughs> asking about Yoon's Kitchen. So, so we good. were kind of, yeah, kind of disappointed. And later on, Ina, the, my friend, she sent, gave me the script. So I was, she, of course, he wrote it in English. You, you can see my English is not good. It's, it was terrible. Okay. It, so I tried to read it. And then it's very realistic to me. So I, during the reading, I called Ina. Is it real story for him, from him? Or then she said, yes. So I told her, okay, I'll do it. That's the way it happened. 
And apparently now his dad finally believes he's a real filmmaker because he got you to be in one of his movies. <laughs> <laughs> because his father is about my age. <laughs> I love that. Uh, there's this old saying that you shouldn't work with animals or children, but obviously you're working with all these chickens and you have two young actors in the film um, playing, playing the children. Uh, I want to start with the actor who plays your son, David, Alan Kim. He's just amazing. Um, when you all came together, how did you go about sort of feeling like a family, like building that chemistry? Who was the first? Speak nicely for Stephen. Oh, me, me. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> you know, I think, I think um, we'll bring it back to Isaac. I think he, you know, I think he did such a wonderful job of casting this uh, film. Um, he really created a great set of people that I think all were really perfect for each role and, and, and the dynamics. Um, and, you know, I think um, uh, Yun Zhen Zheng Yim, the first time that I met her, she was so uh, gracious and kind to me. And I was incredibly nervous um, because of what we were undertaking. But like to have her there felt at ease, but also felt like Korea was there too and so it all kind of all these pieces together like formed really well and um you know yeti and i we we shared a lot of conversations about the dynamics of jacob and monica and i remember our conversations also in the ways that we understood each other and also how we misunderstood each other were also perfect for jacob and monica and um and then with alan and noel um, you know, they're so pure. And so, you know, being able to be around that type of purity and like um, non self consciousness uh, on, on, on set, it was, it was nice because it keeps you honest. And so we, we got together pretty quick. We had, we had like a week or two, but um, to get to know each other, but we, we gelled pretty quickly, I think. And Ye Jung, uh, what was it like working with someone who's, you know, so new to the business? Uh, Alan is, is so young. He's so good. I wonder, did you learn anything from him? <laughs> oh, but, you know, like you said, you know, I'm an old lady. So when I saw him uh, before me, I think before said, and then I, I was thinking, oh, my goodness, what are we going to do with him? <laughs> what, how old are you? <laughs> and he says, seven, so <laughs> that, that, that was my thought. I'm, I'm very honest or frank about the situation because not like young people, because I don't, you know, I cannot hide my feelings. So mm, then mostly I have to do with him. That's, oh my goodness, what I'm going to do. Then I was really surprised and amazed by Isaac. It's all Ireland's work, Ireland's um, acting was Isaac's work. And he gathered, he, of course, he gathered him. When we were doing the conversation between grandma and son, and grandson's um, conversation, he would take, have, he would have a master tape. And then if he needed some kind of certain shot from Alan, he just asked him to just do this very simply. Just smile at me, smile at the camera and just just frown your face, things like that. So mm, he's the director. So I, I respected him from that moment. So th that's all we can do. We cannot ask the young kids, like seven years old kid, about the, about the philosophy about this movie and then this situation is like that. No, they cannot understand. If they understand, that's. I think it's work. It's it's something wrong with him. <laughs> <laughs> then. Well, I know Stephen Young, I knew it. He had a couple of movies from, for the Korean audience. Of course, you all know Bong Joon-ho, Bong Joon hos movie. Okja and Okja, I didn't watch it though, Stephen. It's and okay. <laughs> <laughs> I still I watch it. that kind of movie. Okay, well, okay. as audience, uh, Burning, I watched them. And so, yes, so I knew him. <laughs> you, I just have to throw in here. You should watch Oak Jet. It's really good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because my age, <laughs> knowing Bong Joon Ho from the beginner, then his, his movie got changed. Like you know, 
with the money involved, then I know that in, I thought I was very impressed when he made the plantas again. That uh, was the dog of plantas. What is what do you call it in English? Uh, barking, that was barking dogs never bite. Yeah, yeah, barking dogs never bite. What what? Bar barking dogs never bite. Oh, is that right? Oh, mm. gosh, they translate very strangely. Anyway, so <laughs> I was at the time really shocked. And then, wow, who is, who, who that person is? So I met him, actually. Then later on, he become famous, and then I know the industry, and they, you know, lots of money involved, and then, so it's not my problem. I'm sorry. <laughs> Too much about him <laughs> because Sharon Cho, don't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell him. That's my honest opinion as an oh, audience. Say, as an yeah, audience, yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah. audience for the movie. That's why. That's why I love you. You're so refreshing. And, yeah, I didn't yeah. talk anything about somebody else's movie, not my yeah, yeah. movie. I cannot yeah, talk yeah, yeah. about my movie. <laughs> Sorry. Yeti, were you familiar with Stephen's work? Because you really step into this chemistry instantly. You do feel like a married couple, it, all the good and the trouble that that entails. Working <laughs> Dead. <laughs> 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 그래서 뭔가 이 사람이 되게 조금 그렇게 낯설게 느껴지지는 않았는데 어, 처음 미국에 가서 시나리오를 얘기할 때 어, 굉장히 솔직하게 얘기를 했어요. 제이콥에 대해서 음, 본인의 감정 상태를 얘기했고 저도 제가 아는 한 뭔가 많은 것들을 교감하고 싶었어요. So I had pretty much watched all of the Korean works that Steven was in. I watched Okja Burning and I also watched The Walking Dead. So, um, you know, Steven didn't really feel like a stranger. And I remember when I first went to the States and we were talking about the script, he was really honest about what he felt uh, uh, regarding Jacob. He was really honest about his emotions. And I also tried my best um, to be as honest as I could. Uh, as possible, I really felt like I wanted to share as much as I can with him. 그래서 솔직한 감정들이나 직접적으로 느껴지는 그런 감정들을 정말 저도 좀 과감 없이 던지려고 노력을 했고 그리고 너무 너무 잘 받아주는 거예요. 그 텐션이랑 이런 것도 되게 좋고 그리고 감정적으로 되게 솔직한 배우고 진짜 되게 노력하는 배우고. 어, 어떤 순간순간은 저의 아버지가 느껴지는 느낌도 많이 받았고 그리고 그들이 나의 아버지가 좀 이해되는 부분도 있었고 스티븐과 제이콥을 보면서 어, 저한테는 굉장히 멋진 배우였어요. 네. And with those honest emotions and um, the emotions that I felt so um, immediately, I also tried to be really bold with how I presented them. And I was also surprised at how well Stephen received what I threw at him. And I felt like we had really great tension uh, between our performances. You know, Stephen is someone who really tries to be honest uh, with what he portrays. And in some moments, I felt my own father uh, from Stephen's performances as Jacob. I felt like my father was being understood through him um, and so uh, I admire Stephen a lot. And can I just throw that back though because I mean we all know it was that was that's kind of what I mean about like the alchemy of like the whole family unit but but you know getting to work with everyone and especially with our scenes with Yeti like there was just a real truth that we were finding and um, to work with people that are honest like this about you know not just themselves but also like the moment that we're servicing um that's a gift you know as an actor to just be like i trust you mm -hmm. um, i trust that whatever you're saying is true so that i can say whatever feels true back and um you know like every like yeti yeah same i feel i feel exactly the same i thanks oh, that's very gosh. nice so am i dishonest with you did I? Uh, that was, that was you. I said that about you too. I said everybody. I said everybody. That's what I mean. Is what was really funny was the way that Sunja comes 
in to join the family, Jacob has this, at least I felt this deep fear that like what I, what Jacob was running away from had come to like watch him, to like see him and to like observe him and it scares him. And in that same way, the first time I met Yun Zun Seng Yim, I was so scared because I was like, <laughs> Because you were very <laughs> impressed by <laughs> yes. Yes. compare with me, like no, okay. no, no, because okay, because, tell me about because, it. <laughs> because, because so much respect, and I feel like what Yun Zhen Zheng Yim has overall the most, um, uh, aside from many so much talent, is she gets she can see things exactly for what they are, and because of that you have to face yourself because if she doesn't like you, then there's a reason why. And <laughs> that's what I was deeply afraid of. <laughs> was, I was like, please validate me. Cause I, I want to, I want to know if I'm, you know, that, but um, you know, all of this, it, it felt so perfect for this film. That's perfect. Scary monster. I'm scared. I know, monster. no, <laughs> not at all. True, true. It's true. You're true. You're, you're making a film set in Arkansas, although I believe you shot in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, it's set in the late 80s. You're working on a farm. You're, you're sexing chickens. How did you prepare for these roles? Did you, had to, did you have to learn any basics about farming or, or working with the chickens who I imagine you can't control? They're just going to do what they want. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, I mean, all of that. Um, it was interesting because my family, um, my wife's family did grow like they made their money initially sexing chickens so you know they're teaching us techniques we got coached by some people and then we were also coached in a way and making sure that we were handling them safely and um they're 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 cute to be around but i guess also um and and something you will remind me that like the truth of what is happening there is actually is dark for those chicks yeah um yeah but we, we, oh, we I remember one thing about the chicken sex thing because I wasn't there. But Yeri was one day I found it out her fingernail, the thumb is that thumb? Yes, yeah. Thumb is just uh, nail was just growing like this real long. So you should cut your fingernail. Why you miss that that nail? And she said, I need to grow it because when we when they use the do the chicken sex thing, they have to use the finger like this. So Kamdongim, the director, asked her to just let it grow. So her fingernail was very funny. The thumb was real long. And it <laughs> stains brown. And it stains brown. So it was, it was quite a time. Yeah, DJ, I think you had fun. Or, yeah, I mean, it was, it was interesting. Yeah. 그냥 나중에는 음, 아무 생각하지 않고 나의 어떤 돈벌이 수단이니까 그때는 좀 감정을 많이 내려놓고 탁탁탁탁 해본 거야. 그런 연습을 오히려 익숙해지는 연습을 더 많이 했던 것 같아요. 그걸 잘 하기보다. Yeah, so it was an interesting process and the role required that, you know, I touched those chicks pretty um, automatically without much thought. Um, but at first I was really afraid of it because they're so, you know, soft and delicate. It was hard, um, you know, not to be afraid of touching them. But later on, you know, I really tried to uh, make it seem as if this is just a way of earning money um, where I can just touch them and let them go without much thought. And I think Stephen and I really had to practice getting used to um, laying down our emotions. Uh, since this film premiered at the Sundance Film Festival, people have just fallen in love with it and fallen in love with this family. Why do you think this movie about a Korean family in America in the 80s has resonated so deeply with audiences? I was wondering too, <laughs> because, because with my long experience, the first premiere, usually we didn't have that kind of thing, but now just see, you first 
it, it made me for first to go there. I hate to see me be on the movie. I just cannot enjoy the movie. Movie for me is just I like to enjoy some other actors or act, actress doing. And me was in there and then, oh, I can't do anything now. Oh, why would I do this to do that? Oh, I shouldn't. I could have done better than this. So that feeling is just pouring to me. So I cannot enjoy my own film. So I was just watching everything and I tried to pick up. So, oh, that's the mistake. Seven make a mistake. And that is my <laughs> mistake. Things like that. So I didn't enjoy it. And then people cried. So I said, why they cried? I asked Ina and then, because it's, it's touching and it's true story. It's just because you are good and everybody was good. That's why. Oh, really? Then uh, after the, the show the done, the um, people was just standing ovation to Isaac. That I cried. That moment I cried. <laughs> so mm. I'm very peculiar person, I think. <laughs> so I did, at no, the time, I didn't know why people very impressed about that movie but i think i think yeah i mean i think something uh, i think you're spot on i think it it, it kind of sh it kind of speaks to the the separateness of you know culture and also the uniqueness of this particular story and the and 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 the position that it holds in between those two places um i think this is a you know, it, it you could you could call it a Korean family making it in America, but truly this is maybe one of the most American films I've ever seen. Um, this is the story about not necessarily Korean people in America. I think on the surface it can be seen that way, but it's it's really the story about this, you know, these immigrants in this place that occupy this space and in time and. Um, I think it reflects back to it um, a deep humanity that I think most Americans can understand at least if they can get past the hurdles of maybe the surface politics that kind of wash that kind of like wash it wash over it initially mm -hmm. you know I, yeah I think I think it's it's ultimately about being humans I think it's about being people who are going somewhere and starting brand new and making something that has never existed before. And that is the foundation of American society is people moving to a new place and starting something that they've never done before. And um, I don't know what is more American than that. And so, you know, for us, the work that we did actively, um, producerially and even storytelling wise was making sure that we didn't get caught in the overall gaze of either America or even Korea, but we, in fact, were really truly telling it from the point of view of this specific family, of this specific immigrant family, so that there's no barriers of entry where you say like, oh, you need to know Korean culture to understand us, or you need to know American culture to understand us. But really, this is just a very human story about people trying to make a life and I think, you know, that was what our goal was. And um, we didn't try to explain ourselves. We just really tried to tell it from our point of view. Um, and I think maybe that's why it resonated. Yeah. And warmness, it's very warm, uh, yeah. I can say. It's very warm. And not just talking about discrimination and being immig immigrant uh, some other country and then discriminated or something like that. It's it's not that. Yes, like mm. Stephen said. Yes, because of that's why I think I can. Thinking, too. Oh, 그런 것도 분명히 있겠지만, 음, 이 가족들이 어쨌건 이 가족 안에서 정말 지지고 붙고 막 싸우고 이러기는 하지만 그 베이스에 계속. 서로를 생각하는 마음이 굉장히 큰것 같아요. 그 음. 사랑이라는 게 되게 크고 그 사랑이 어찌 됐건 이 가족을 굉장히 끈끈하게 묶고 있고 그리고 되게 음, 모니카와 순자는 굉장히 멀리 떨어져 있지만 끊임없이 순자를 생각하고 있거든요. 모니카도 그래서 결국에는 순자도 미국에 와서 같이 살게 되고 이들의 이 가장 큰 마음들이 사랑이었기 때문에 많은 분들이 좀더 
직접적으로 이렇게 가슴에 울림을 받지 않았을까라는 생각이 들어요. Yeah, so I agree with everything that was mentioned. Um, but for me, you know, although this family, uh, amongst them, they fight and, you know, they, uh, you know, they scuffle, but at the foundation of all of this, um, there's love and all the people in this family, they, they um, think of each other a lot. And I think that kind of love is what creates such a tight bond amongst the family members. And you know, although Monica and Sunja they've lived far apart from each other, they constantly think about one another, and eventually that's what allows Sunja to come to the states to live with this family. So I think what really dominates the relationship amongst this family um, is love, and I think that's why um, this story managed to touch so many people's hearts. No, you, that wasn't love, Yeri. Oh. You just called me because you need a babysitter. <laughs> That's why I came to just babysit. <laughs> That's the bottom truth. <laughs> That's called love in some. some oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told you I'm very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to remind everyone that the movie is out now in limited release, and February 12th, it will be playing everywhere. Thank you so much for being here, and congratulations again on a beautiful movie. Thank you, Janelle. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for having us. <laughs>